Hello again everyone, it is the 5th of January 2016, the time is now 12.05 p.m. This is an educational video on candlestick patterns for all of my viewers, subscribers and especially to the amateur traders who are just starting out using MT4 charts to place their own trades on their broker. Now, there's a definition and also a little illustration of all the different candlestick patterns for you guys to see. I hope this serves as a basic foundation for you amateur traders in candlestick pattern reading. Now the first one is a very common one. It is the doji. Now the dojis are the easiest pattern to spot because of their unique look of resembling a cross. A doji is formed when a open and close are virtually equal. The length of the upper and lower shadows can vary and the resulting candlestick look like either a cross, inverted cross, or a plus sign. The dojis are the indecisive candlesticks because they convey a sense of indecision or tug of war between buyers and sellers. Prices move about and below the opening level during the session, but close at or near the opening level. Now we have the common looking doji the long leg doji, dragonfly doji and the gravestone doji. Up next we have the dark cloud cover. Now this is a bearish reversal pattern that continues uptrend with a long white body. The next day opens at a new high then closes below the midpoint of the body of the first day. After that we have the abandoned baby. This pattern is a rare reversal pattern that is characterized by a gap followed by a doji, which is then followed by another gap in the opposite direction. The shadows on the doji must completely gap below or above the shadows of the first and third day. Number 4, we have the downside Tasuki gap. This is a continuation pattern with a long black body followed by another black body that has gap below the first one. The third day is white and opens within the body of the second day then closes in the gap below the first two days but does not close the gap. After that we have the engulfing pattern, a very common one that is seen. Now it's a reversal pattern that can be bearish or bullish depending upon whether it appears at the end of an uptrend which is called bearish engulfing pattern or a downtrend, bullish engulfing pattern. The first day is characterized by a small body followed by a day whose body completely engulfs the previous day body. And we have illustrations of the bullish and the bearish engulfing. Next up we have our harami. Now the harami is a two day pattern that has a small body day completely contained within the range of the previous body and is the opposite color. And we have the bearish harami right here and the bullish harami. Now, long day, oftentimes seen in markets of high volatility, a long day represents a large price move from open to close where the length of the candle body is long. Okay, now next one we have the marabuzu, a candlestick with no shadow extending from the body at either the open, the close, or at both. The name means close crop or close cut in Japanese. It is also called bald or shaven head. Next up, stick sandwich. And the illustration we have here is the bullish stick sandwich. Now this is a bullish reversal pattern with two black bodies surrounding a white body. The closing prices of the two black bodies must be equal a support price is apparent and the opportunity for prices to reverse is quite good. Alright, next up, shooting star. Now the shooting star is a single day pattern that can appear in an uptrend. It opens higher, trades much higher, then closes near its open. Now watch out for the shooting star guys. It has messed me up a couple times in the past. It so happens that it looks like it's gonna form a reversal, but it just keeps going up higher. So look out for shooting stars. Do not confuse them with a engulfing pattern or something like that. Now, rising three methods. Now, this is a bullish continuation pattern in which a long white body is followed by three small body days 
each fully contained within a range of the high and low of the first day. The fifth day closes at a new high. Here's another common one we have is the hammer. A hammer candlestick form when a price moves significantly lower after the open but rallies to close well above the intraday low. The result candlestick looks like a square lollipop with a long stick. Hmm, that sounds kind of weird. If this candlestick forms during a decline, then it is called a hammer. At number 12, we have the upside gap 2 crows. Now, this is a 3-day bearish pattern that only happens in an uptrend. The first day is a long white body followed by a gap open with a small black body remaining gapped above the first day. The third day is also a black day whose body is larger than the second day and it engulfs it. The close of the day is still above the first long white day. Alright, and that's where I stopped it at for today. Now, there are many more candlestick patterns out there, but these ones that I've placed on my article are the most common ones seen and the most important ones to look out for. You can go on websites such as Investopedia.com, Stock Charts, and other charting websites and look at all the different candlestick patterns and greatly enhance your knowledge of chart reading. I hope you guys like this small and concise educational video. For questions you may have, you can contact me at darianreatatmail.com or darianreescott at gmail.com. Now stay tuned for the price action chart lesson episode, Introduction to Price Action Trading Part 1. Peace.